Hey guys, I'm uh, Jeroen, uh, co-founder and CEO of Salesforce, and I'm going to show you in, in this presentation how we did a few onboarding improvements that uh, gave us some uh, great new results at Salesforce. Uh, let me fire my presentation. So uh, this presentation is all about how to gamify and simplify your product's uh, onboarding flow. Uh, myself, like I said, I'm Jeroen uh, of Salesflare. At Salesflare, we build uh, an easier and more automated CRM. Um, my personal background before Salesflare was in helping companies uh, do their sales and marketing in a better way. Uh, this was uh, in an agency slash a consultancy. Um, we had a lot of uh, software we'd, we would use for that and it's sort of there uh, with frustrations with uh, Salesforce and some other systems. Uh, that I started believing that we can make software in a more human way, uh, which is one of the reasons why we started Salesforce. If you want to connect with me uh, now during the presentation or after the presentation, uh, I suggest doing that through LinkedIn. Um, please do include a message, um, and I'll and I'll certainly accept your request. Um, based on uh, scores that you're seeing here from G2, uh, you can see that people uh, in general. Uh, score Salesforce are much higher than its direct competitors. I already mentioned Salesforce, which is obviously uh, not really an easy to use system. But even compared to systems like HubSpot and Pipedrive, uh, Salesforce does much better. Uh, this is on many levels, ease of use, ease of setup, ease of administration, ease of doing business with us. Uh, it's all much easier. But that doesn't mean that there's no big uh, potential left in our onboarding. Uh, if you look at our uh, typical conversion rates in the onboarding, 60% uh, of users actually only just clicks around, doesn't really do anything in the software. They're just there to sort of have an idea of what the interface is about because they're, after scanning websites, just scanning interfaces to see what they like. Um, of these 40%, then we have 50% that actually really starts using uh, the software, uh, really starts tracking customers. We kind of set the threshold at seven. Um, and then of these, uh, then remaining 20%, 50% also ends up subscribing. So let's say that that end to end, we have 10% uh, of all trials subscribing. So if we can just increase that number a little bit, uh, it has a big impact on our sales. And that's uh, despite we have, for instance, Samuel with uh, user on board. This is the website that where he does um, big user onboarding uh, teardowns. He's on our software and he really loved it. Uh, and Azar, who's uh, basically uh, organizing this conference, um, is a, a Salesflare user as well and did a teardown as well of our onboarding uh, and really loved it. Um, but we believe ourselves, uh, of course, we are the, the first ones to see it, uh, that there's still a huge amount of uh, potential there. And one of our monthly habits that we set for 2020, uh, we actually set uh, sort of habits on the input level on everything we do in 2020. Uh, we do, uh, for instance, uh, three growth improvements a month, two features. Uh, we also do uh, one onboarding improvement which means that it's a sort of a continuous search for improving our onboarding. Two recent onboarding experiments uh, that I can now share with you um, is one where we um, decided to check what it would give if we would put the walkthrough first. Uh, so if we would not ask to create an account and then only show the product, but turn it around, so show the product and then ask to create an account, um, and then the second one is um, where we would add a setup guide to the software in a gamified way. So not just a setup guide, but one that also incentivizes people to go through the setup steps. And I'll share what we did here, uh, why we did it, and which results uh, we are currently seeing. So the first one um, is one where we tried to um, put the walkthrough first. Um, and it's actually something we test. If you click on the website now and click sign up, then 50% 50, 50 chance it asks you uh, to connect your emails and 50% chance it asks you, uh, it, it, it shows you a walkthrough. 
why we did that is because um, we see that we lose a certain amount of customers because they need to connect their emails first. It's a sort of, um, um, it's um, it asks them a certain amount of permissions, which not all people are uh, willing to do right away. So it blocks some people. So these people we could we could win by first showing them the software, give them a bit more of an idea of what will happen uh, when they connect their emails. Um, and on the other hand, uh, we also have what I mentioned earlier, a, a large amount of CRM shoppers. Uh, so we thought we'd just make that easier for them as well. If they only want to see the interface, um, then we show it to them and afterwards they can see whether they want to uh, move on or not. So let me now um, show you how that actually works. So like I said, 50% chance uh, is that you land on the website, click sign up and then immediately land here. So there is no page that says connect your emails or anything. This is where you land. Uh, at first we show you um, that with Salesforce you're gonna work less because Salesforce connects to all the data sources where information already is. Uh, you can just focus on your customers. A second thing is that you're in control. In many ways, uh, one of the, the, the things that people like a lot is our, our pipeline. So that's a, certainly a thing we highlight here. And, and then third, based on that, we also show you a lot of things. We, we don't only track emails and email campaigns, but we track all the, the sales performance you're having uh, in a comprehensive way without you having to set up anything. Then after that, uh, you're welcomed on this page where uh, you can either choose to see the walkthrough or skip it. If you skip it, then you will immediately be asked to connect your emails because you're not willing to, to go through and, and, and experience Salesforce. But if you click take it for a spin, uh, then it will actually show you our interface, interface in a guided way where it um, shows you all the aha moments that you all have when you get on Salesforce. So Salesforce automatically uh, pulls in information about accounts. Those are companies you're selling to. Based on your mailbox, it detects who you know and immediately suggests you um, these people. So you can just add them with one click by clicking on the check mark here instead of you having to create a contact manually with a name and an avatar and, a, and an email address and stuff. Salesforce takes care of that for you, then when you do that, it automatically uh, pulls in the timeline uh, with all your uh, emails from your mailbox, meetings from your calendar, uh, calls from your phone, especially if you have an Android phone, it connects uh, phone numbers um, with the, the calls themselves. Then we ask the person to create an opportunity because that's the, the, the third thing that's really essential. Uh, we just make it simple, show the opportunity form, hit create, and then last but not least, uh, there's this opportunity here, which we teach people to drag and drop here because at some point uh, people were saying that they didn't know you could drag and drop opportunities. We just made that clear in the onboarding already. Then we show some nice fireworks. We ask whether they're ready to start their trial and it's only then that we ask to connect to emails. So this is a is a new thing. First, you would you would connect your emails and then see this whole experience, and and then at this screen really land in the software. Now we turn that around. So if you're uh, looking at uh, the results here, they're actually um, not that great. At least based on the data we have now, um, we have fifty percent, fifteen percent less trials. But then again, when you think back. Um, about 60% of the people um, just come to see the interface. So we're thinking that maybe the trials are actually more qualified as they decided to sign up for a trial after they've seen uh, the product. Um, now we're running a second experiment um, because we don't have the data all the way through. Uh, where we're going to see whether people who come through the one or the other um, uh, sort of signing up experience, connecting emails first or, or seeing the walkthrough first, uh, whether there is a difference in conversion rates or not. 
Uh, an alternative thing we might do is uh, making a specific uh, call to action for seeing the software uh, next to the, the one for signing up and differentiate in that way. On the second experiment, uh, this was a, a much, much bigger one actually also. Um, we um, made a set of guides. There's four reasons why we did that. Uh, first, um, Salesforce is very simple to use, but that doesn't mean that people uh, get in the software and immediately have an instinctive idea of what to do to get it set up. Um, and they need this little extra push uh, to, to get there. So that's, that's reason number one. Uh, reason number two, um, as they also do that then, these setup steps, uh, they get a much better idea of, of the value that Salesforce offers. We already show a lot in your boarding, like you just said, uh, saw, um, but, but through the setup, it becomes more and more apparent. Um, next to that, there are specific things which we try to incentivize uh, before by sending emails and chat messages, like inviting colleagues. Um, but it's better if, if we do it in a more uh, built-in, product-driven kind of way. Uh, so that was a reason for us. And, and fourth, uh, we saw based on our data that the better uh, people get set up, the conversion is not only higher, of course, uh, but also the churn is lower in the long run. The, the, the people that we closed immediately in the past, um, more, much more often actually uh, left the software quicker. So let me show you how that works. So uh, after you've uh, gone through the walkthrough and connect your emails, uh, you land on this screen with a nice setup guide opened up here at the bottom left, which shows you 12 steps you need to complete uh, to set up Salesforce completely. It's really uh, from the first step is uh, starting your trial and the last step is uh, subscribing to the software. So in, in, in essence, it's, it's just 10 steps, but we added the first one and the, and the last one as a, as a nice extra thing. Um, instead of the 14 day trial uh, we would offer earlier, we now offer a seven day trial. But when you complete all these steps, uh, with one person only, uh, you can get to 30 uh, days already. Um, so let me show you now how to do one of those. So all these uh, steps here uh, show the amount of days you can win with them. There is an article for each and a video. Uh, the video uh, launches like this in an overlay, the, the article in, a, in an extra screen. And if you click on any of these steps, it takes you to the right uh, screen for it. It uh, opens the setup guide here in a minimized version, so it stays here. Uh, but uh, you can you can start working on the guide. So if I do, for instance, here test, I make uh, an account custom field doesn't matter a number field or something, and I hit create. At the bottom left, you can see that the the setup step just completed and it went to the next one. If I click that, then I can go to the next step and complete that one as well. So it effectively guides me step by step uh, through the thing. If I um, close the setup guide, I can always get back to it by clicking here. And I can also click here at the top, uh, click earn more days and it opens up again. Um, and from there I'm, I'm uh, back in the experience. So if you look at the results we got with this, based on three weeks of data that we have now, the highlights are that about 13 more percent more teams start tracking customers. So one, one in eight extra, uh, which is really nice because that's uh, one of the, the main um, conversion events for us when people really start tracking uh, customers, then we know they're actually using the software. It's not only that, but of these teams and also uh, 40 to 50% more invite team members during the trial, which means we have much bigger trials. Uh, immediately, a lot of people on there, a lot more interaction on the trials, uh, which also increases the conversion rate and, and lowers churn in the end as well. And on top of that, um, paying teams now complete about double the amount of uh, setup steps, 7.6 instead of four. Uh, before signing up. So they're set up in a much better way, uh, which we've seen earlier should reduce the churn. This is something to confirm later. Um, I cannot share any uh, decent conversion numbers yet because that's still following. 
Um, but I, I personally can't wait to see uh, what the effect will be. There's a, a fun fact I noted here at the bottom of the slides is that there is actually one team that uh, immediately added 23 users during the trial, uh, which is something we didn't uh, encounter before. Uh, people always uh, add, add users after the trial. And in that way, they earned a 68-day trial. So we're currently looking at how to uh, limit the length of the trial because we also don't want to start offering 68-day trials. Uh, but for this one, we uh, we talked to them and we convinced them to, to actually do it in 30 days. Now, thinking ahead, I think there's definitely an opportunity to do more of these sort of things. Uh, I've recently uh, been reading this book. I just finished it, The Art of Game Design. Um, it offers 100 lenses to think about um, games and how to design them better. Uh, but it's very easy to apply it as well to your own software and to see what exactly um, builds a, a really motivating and engaging um, software experience. Uh, if any one of you is interested to uh, explore this uh, with me, just send me a message and, and happy, happy to talk further about that. Also, um, if you want to know uh, and see uh, for yourself uh, how our onboarding works, just head to this link. I made it a short link, uh, salesflare.re slash onboard. Uh, or, of course, you can just go to our website, salesflare.com and sign up. Uh, and if you like great software, a great CRM, then obviously stick around. Thank you very much and um, lots of luck with improving your onboarding.